Eric does have his fans. Mm. He can be a factor. None of them They're very <laughs> aggressive in their voting. None of them can reach the phone. But All right, Eric, I'll give you a quiz. How many people voted in American Idol this past week? Ryan said it was over a million. Fifty-one million. Yeah, over a million. That would be down, way down. You're both wrong. It was fifty-one million grass. <laughs> I I couldn't hear the exact number that he said because I had the headphones on for the show. Fifty-one million. Wow. All right. Thank you, Eric. Jessica Hine, you're on the air. Go ahead. Alec, did you watch um, Oprah and Barbara? You got to let me talk about this. Barbara Walters and Oprah Winfrey. I didn't Barbara watch did, it, but we we did run some tape. Gotta let me talk because I'm so furious right now. Jessica Hahn, furious. <laughs> I'm furious. Listen to me. First of all, <laughs> Barbara Walters calls me up one day. She's whatever interviewing Jim and Tammy. She calls me up privately. Calls me Han the homewrecker. This bitch. I said, Barbara, did you ever have any skeletons in your closet? But you're like this great reporter. Everybody loves you. And now I see her giving Oprah Winfrey high fives on the air because they both had, quote, an affair. And um, Oprah goes to call it, well, you were a mistress to a, a black married senator. And the audience, and Oprah goes, well, the sisters are going, hey. And they high five each other. And they right. Go, hey. In other words, you're a filthy whore because you're a homewrecker. But Barbara, Barbara Walters... was wrecking a home. Oh, yeah. So, guys, listen. So, Barbara and Oprah. Barbara Walters, by the way, is a fucking fossil right now. I'm so pissed off, Howard. She's a fossil on the air. She has nothing else to live for. So, now she's going to go and, and bullshit about everybody from Star to Rosie to everybody. But she had this affair, and I said to her on the phone privately, I said, Barbara, do you have any skeletons in your closet? And she goes, not a one. I said, well, you know what? I fucked up. I was a virgin. I was 20 years old. I saw Jim Baker, but you're on the air judging me and everything else and i'm not even there to defend myself i see her on oprah and and she goes oprah i'm not a mistress a mistress is somebody who gets paid for a kept woman and that's and oprah's like oh i never understood the title because i too had an affair with a married man for two years but i you know i guess then barbara oprah goes like she does oprah fucking doesn't know what it's called she goes well what do you call that she goes, well, it's involved with a man. When I'm doing it with a 15-minute fucking preacher, it's an affair. I'm All right, you're making a very good point. No, Howard, don't hang up. Well, I mean, what, what are we going to do? We and can't I keep... looked up the term mistress, yeah. Yeah. and it is a person having an affair with a married person. Thank you. Yeah, she was yeah. a mistress. Yeah. She didn't like the sound of that. but You know, it, it can yeah. be, especially in the case where you're getting uh, remunerated for it, or whatever that word is. Jessica. But it is when you're yeah. having an affair. You, you essentially made your point. I don't know where you're going to go further with this. In other words, okay. we all hear it. And yeah, but Howard, you know how many times can you repeat the fact that Barbara Walters was a mistress well, and so was Oprah? You're a Barbara Walters' friend, Howard. I can't I'm not talk a Barbara Walters. No, you can. You just did. But what? Yeah, was... but you know what? You did fucking Eric fucking nine hours. About but you want nine hours to keep making the same point? No, because you know what? I spent 20 years getting hell from her, calling Han the homewrecker. When when this woman's on the but, air, but yesterday. you made the point. I mean, Robin, am I being unfair to yes, Jessica? Howard, you're being unfair. Because you know what? <laughs> All right, take another 20 minutes of my show to keep saying. <laughs> The same thing kiss over again. Howard, go to hell. Kiss my cunt. Oh, I never heard of that. All right, I'll kiss your cunt. You're not even living, giving me five fucking minutes, but you want me to every What? I just, Jessica, you know what? it's a radio I just show. I don't, oh, no, you say, this isn't it about everyone getting their fair time. Do you want us I to get call. Barbara Walters Robin, on the phone so you can you, confront Robin. her? I'm happy you're here. What? Do you want us what? to so somehow get no, Barbara? I just wanted to make a freaking point. You made it. So, Okay, so why yes. are you mad at me? What did I do? You know what? You know what? I'm just sick of you. Sick of me? I'm trying to make a fucking point. You made the point. Don't listen five hours a day. All right, keep going. Yeah. I, what is she talking about? Are you all right? Don't yeah. start crying. Yeah. Well, 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 why is she mad at me? What did I do? I just said, okay, hey, Jessica, that's a good point. Everything with your fucking show is going next, 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 next. Yeah, next. That's why, the, that's why I get high ratings, because I don't dwell on any one thing. Fucking for bed. I just spent three fucking minutes outletting because I have nowhere else to give, put an outlet. You know? <laughs> Shut up, yeah. Why are you it's laughing funny. at her? Because this is insane. Oh, I don't know why so she's horrible. mad at me. This is funny to me. You're this is hysterical. Listen to her. Barbara Walters yeah, right. is a cum dumpster. So, so Jessica, do you believe? I'm so no, mad at you right now. So Jessica, do you believe what? Barbara Walters um, no, was a mistress? You know what she did. Let me just fucking tell you. Go ahead. She called, she called you a homewrecker. 
No, my mom just fucking died, and she's like, well, you're a homewrecker, and she's letting Jim and Tammy talk about how I wrecked every fucking Right, empire. so she's a hypocrite. You, no, you made a very good point. Was, no, I didn't, <laughs> shithead. Shithead? Fuck you. I'm not mad at you. <laughs> me? Why be mad at Barbara wait Walters? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Me? Obviously, I'm Jessica had a point. Talk. You're not letting her get it Thank out. You, Robin. Robin, what point? Wait a second. All right, make your point. Make your point. I'm sorry. I thought I had the whole point. Go ahead. No, you don't. All right, let me hear the rest of it. Let me hear the rest of the point. I never get a chance to talk, and there's no one show I can talk on. Shut the fuck up. I know you guys, and I cry, you asshole. Wow. It's not funny. All right, please tell me more about Barbara Walters. All right, I'm trying to tell you, you asshole. I feel like Eric right now. Oh my God! I can't believe you're laughing. Oh, like that. I don't know. I find this funny. Oh, I'm agreeing with her. I said Barbara Walters is a hypocrite. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm agreeing with her, no less. Howard, oh, shut up a second. I feel like Eric. Meanwhile, <laughs> while you're crying, I'm making twenty grand. Yeah. Oh, I'm fucking happy. You know what? Good for you. <laughs> for every so cry, he gets another grand. <laughs> Funny. No, but Jessica, listen, I love you, but you do sound like you're coming unhinged here. Are you all right? No, I'm not okay. I just lost the fucking love of my life. I'm a little insane right well, now. Well, we understand yeah, that. Don't take it out on me. I'm agreeing oh, with you. She's not trying to take wait, it wait, out. Wait, wait, I want to say something. Thank you, Robin. I'm Come on. Jessica, I'm agreeing with you. That's what I can fucking talk. All right, go ahead. Say what you have to say. All right. Now, Barbara calls up, but Barbara's, you don't guys don't even know my history. I heard, you know what, forget it. You're all laughing. Well, I, I'm no, not no, laughing. We're not, no, I'm laughing. That was no, just the evil stunning. Wait, 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 I got to make a point here for a second. Every time I say to Jessica, okay, make your point, she goes, you're not letting me talk. Okay, talk. And then she goes, forget it. Yeah. I don't understand what's going on here. Can I talk? I, I said to her, I agree with Can you. I talk? Barbara Walters is a hypocrite. I don't know what else to say. Oh, my God. Can I finish it? I know. All right, now I'm going to say you can talk, and then you're going to say forget it. Go ahead. Go ahead and make your point. Okay, I'm talking. Right. Barbara gets on the phone with me and says that I'm on the home record and everything. And I said, Barbara, do you have any skeletons in your closet? She goes, no. You said this three times already. All right, but I'm finishing. Oh. And then Oprah gets on and says, and her and Barbara are high-fiving each other about a two-year affair. Right. And Barbara... You said that twice. You know what? You're such a... You so, sometimes, Howard, I love you so much, but you're so fucking annoying. Why is that... Robin, did she repeat this story twice already? She must need to set it up so she Thank can you. say the part Again? she needs to say. But she right. set that you up. Keep cutting her off She's before ramping she up. gets to it. Robin, you know what, Howard? Sometimes you need to listen to fucking... Wait, 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 wait. Okay, all right. Did Barbara Walters call you a homewrecker? Yes. All right. Did Oprah ask if she was a mistress? <laughs> And yes. then she said no. They high five. Yes. Uh, did they high five? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Okay, now is that <laughs> right? All right, we're ready now. Now the new information. <laughs> and then, the, and then she says to the audience that she goes, "Oh, but the black sisters are like, yeah, you know." Oh, how do you know what? You know what? I can't even make my point because now black there is sisters. no point. You made your point. You made a great oh, no, point. No, I didn't. You made a great point, and then now you're over and over again. No one's going to forget this point for a while. No. <laughs> oh, I'm so angry at you right now. I'm shaking. Well, go ahead. What's the new information? Come on. No. <laughs> um, Audio work with you. Yeah. No, the audience, she goes around and she, she's, Barbara says she has an affair with a black guy. And, and they high-fived. Yeah, they high-fived. Like, like, <laughs> and then the audience applauded with the you system. You know how this is your gift. This is why you're funny. <laughs> I don't know why I'm a genius. I just want to hear the new information. I my point. <laughs> No, because I had a valid point, and now you're fucking it up. That gift bought a diamond encrusted osterizer. <laughs> exactly, Artie. Exactly. No, because then she. How could Barbara Walters Artie. call? Like, Barbara... How could Barbara? She called me years ago when her and Jimmy. Yeah, 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 yeah. How could Barbara her... Walters call you Han the homewrecker and claim she had no skeletons in her closet? Thank you, Hal. And when she's high fiving. She... Oprah about because they're congratulating each other. So I mean, what, what don't I get here? I get the That's point. That's the point. The point is, oh, Jessica was evil, right? But Barbara Walters and Oprah are saints for right. doing. I know. It. So I got that point, right? So right now, Jessica, the next thing out of your mouth is something we never heard before. Yeah, now give me a new right one. Right now, go. 
talking about? Yeah, but so she turns to the audience and she goes, oh, the black sisters are loving this. <laughs> now, if, 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 if Barbara Walters turned around and said, Oprah, you slept with a white man, the white people are loving this, it's always reverse racism with Oprah, and everything is okay as long as it's a nice, rich black man that she had an affair with. And by the way, Robin, you can appreciate it. Tyler, if you interrupt me, I'll fucking kill you. Mm. Robin, yesterday was the anniversary <laughs> of a black this? and white couple. Listen to me. That 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 broke the went to the Supreme Court and threw out the law that said you can get arrested if black Jessica, and white are married. Jessica, I'm the host. <laughs> I'm the host of the show. If I deem something over, it's over. Oh, why don't you? All right, fine. Then you're over too. Forget it. Wow. I just, you know what? I had to live with this all my life, and I finally want to vent. You're the only one. Well, I you know what, Jessica? The one thing you can say is Barbara Walters is a coward I because agree. she didn't want anybody to know she was Thank fucking you. a black man. There you go. Because she yes. didn't want it to ruin her career. Yeah, That's what about right, that? Guys. Robin's making your new points. Thank you. I need yeah. Robin because I can't obviously. Thanks, Robin. Yeah, but Jessica, don't. What a what a great thing you have in your life to call the biggest radio show and Howard I takes know. your I Howard know. takes your call. No, I'm, I'm so? very, now I'm angry. Now I'm angry. Right. Because you're a shithead. I'm angry. I've been called an asshole and a shithead. I'll tell you what. Broads, broads are crazy. The reason this show is successful is be the reason this show is successful is because I have the ability when to move on. And Jessica doesn't like to be moved away from, and then she thinks it's an insult. I put her on the air quickly. You're wonderful, Howard. I'm sorry. Thank you. Of course I'm wonderful. Thank you. I mean, it's a good point. Right. I mean, you got Robin to say Wait, that. I think I missed the point. <laughs> Can I hear it again? Is, Je is Jessica Hunt claiming that Barbara Walters is a hypocrite? Yes, she's mm -hmm. very much a hypocrite. Right. And she calls me a homewreck. Right. 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 Well, no, no, say it again. I forgot. Well, you know what, Howard? You know, you you think you've had Barbara Walters on. You've said a lot right. of kind mm -hmm. things about Barbara Walters. I like Barbara Walters. You're so happy to be in her presence right. because, you know, she's an icon. Right. But she's a hypocrite. Good. I agree. And I not only agree with Jessica, but I said, okay, I got the point. It was kind of time to move on. I could write a book right now, but uh, Barbara didn't write her fucking book until she's like 80. And she even said on over, oh, my career is over. I'm too freaking soft. And now, it's fine now to put it all out there. Why and everybody's dead. Yeah, right. Robin. And why didn't she stand up for her big race? race relationship with the black guy then. She had to keep it I think we should spend week. another half hour on this. Oh, She's making good on points, on Howard. Right. Thank you, Robin. God forbid we should make a point and I shouldn't be some sex fucking toy. On How about the wrap-up show? You can call that. Yeah, can you yeah, call whatever. that? Because so by then they'll forget. John, John Hine is probably the best thing that ever happened to you. Well, All right. no, and, I, and about 80,000 other women that had oral Thank you, sex. Robin. Yeah, really. We, oh, we didn't get into that. that. That's unbelievable. So now you love jo so now you love John Hine. Great. And wow. Not you. And not not you. me, John Hine. I've moved right, Jessica, on. Jessica. I love Robin more than you would ever have. All right. Thank you. That, this, you've you said guys. some very nice things about me today. Yeah, I'm sure Robin, thank you very You're much. You're welcome. Right. I love you, but bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. All bye. Right. That's Jessica Hahn making the point. Let me, in case anyone missed the point, let me say it again. Mm. See, Barbara Walters is a hypocrite because she <laughs> high fived Oprah. Black and sisters. when Jessica called her, she said, "Don't you have any skeletons in your closet?" And she said, "You didn't have any." Oh wait, Fred, yeah, where's the circus music? We could do it later. No, actually, could, could you get it back on? Because I didn't get. Black sisters, a hypocrite. I, I wasn't sure what happened. It was like, now who said that they had a, a, an affair with a white guy? I actually guy? thought Jessica made a really good point, and then I was just kind of saying. But it was also the good points. Point. It was also the points about yeah, the black sisters, blah blah blah. Barbara Walters didn't stand up and say, I love a black man, when she thought it would hurt her. Right. She, and, now she, and actually, she's saying that it could hurt her. Yeah, I think Jessica made excellent points, except I guess I guess I'm pretty quick. I got it fast and You're understood it. You're very smart, but the audience was left out. You feel they needed it repeated? Absolutely. She See, I think have, the audience have, is a lot more intelligent nah, than you guys No, she might think. have been right about that. Three, repeating it three she, times? She might have. Right. I don't think I picture it got and, the point. You know, if yeah. she had done it four times, maybe that would have been too. Uh, she what she did was she supplied Robin with the tools to say something intelligent. <laughs> right. <laughs> now stop that. Artie's gonna review. I just under she was she was irate. Artie's gonna review what Jessica said to the music. Now. Right. Uh, All right. Here we go. Uh, Barbara Walters, hypocrite, black sisters, I applaud. Make my point. I lost the love of my life. Uh, can't get in. Reverse racism. I love you, Robin. Hate you, Howard. Coming on, Hinge. I gotta, I gotta get some help.
<laughs> Barbara Walters, they high fived. Oprah, her hypocrites, black man. Called him. Called him. Called him on the home wrecker, not a home wrecker. You're saints for having an affair, and I'm a home wrecker. I'm the devil. I'm a slut. Ah, ah. Definition of a mistress. Definition of a mistress. What is it? Barbara Walters is a slut. High five. High five. High five. Robin, I like you. Howard, you're shitty. Uh, black sisters. Black sisters high fiving. No, I mean, made a mistake. I was young. Made a mistake. Very young. Virgin. Fuck the preacher. Virgin. <laughs> Church secretary. Howard's an asshole. Howard's an asshole. <laughs> John Hine is my favorite. John Hine I love. John Lucky Hine's a genius. Him. Lucky to have him here. Best thing ever happened to Howard. I hate you, Howard. Is John Hine. Hate you, Howard. Robin, I love you. Thanks for making the point. <laughs> black Robin's sisters, great. black sisters, high fiving white people like you, Oprah, having an affair with a white person. Oprah's crazy. This is why you get paid, Howard. This is why you get paid. You're a genius. One hundred thousand dollars for every twenty-four seconds. I feel like Eric the Midget. All right, thank you for that recap. Uh, Lost the love of my life. Oh dear. I'm crying. You love when I cry. I right. could be something else besides a sex toy. Like what? Fuck you. Oh. <laughs> she waited till she was fucking 80 to write her book. I'll wait till I'm 80. That'll be 20 years. No, uh. Party music stuff. Yeah, already. Oh. Not in my fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on 24 <24/7. laughs> 7. <laughs> you ruined my life. I hate you. I have no other outlet but calling the biggest radio show in the world. Fuck you. Thank you. You're an asshole. You're an asshole for taking my call. I'm alone in a big house. <laughs> Popping pills, walk my dog, nighty. Oh, you. <laughs> Wanted to blow you in the bathtub in L.A. You didn't want it. You were married. Fuck you. <laughs> she didn't say that. I fucked Casey. No, I didn't. Casey's lying. Casey's an asshole. Casey's an asshole. You're an asshole, Robin. I love. You should Robin's listen, great. You should listen to Robin. Robin's great. John Hine and Robin should host the show. I love John Hine and Robin. <laughs> John Hines the best thing ever happened to you. Best thing ever happened to the show is John Hines, and you kissed Barbara Walters' ass. Icon, fuck you, thank you, make new point. I'm losing it. Somebody <laughs> fire John Hines right now. <laughs> Check it out. Fire John Hines. No. feel like Eric. I feel like Eric. <laughs> All right. That was the craziest the thing. The craziest thing about that call is I agree with everything Jessica said, yeah. and I love her for saying it. Right. I just thought it was time to say goodbye, and then and, she got mad at me. And I think what Robin said something right. very ballsy there, too, because she right. has a relationship with Barbara Walters, right? Sort sure. Of, yeah. Yeah, Robin wore her bat dress on The View. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that, you know what, I never thought of it that way, but definitely she was afraid that an yeah. affair with, because she was big with middle America. The, Absolutely. The she was Oscars, a white woman on TV mm -hmm. and right. taking her right down. The Oscar specials is all like, you got to get people in Nebraska to watch. <laughs> well, all right. I'm glad Jessica made that point. Pharrell because, fired Chris Naboa. Because while now Jessica, she's while, being so brave uh, to say that... Um, she had an affair with a black man. Right. Now it's easy to say. Star uh, Jones was on her case yesterday and said, I can't believe, you know, because Ed Brooke does have a family that's alive. Right. Sure. Do they want people running around going, oh, yeah, your dad slept with Barbara Walters. Hell no. No, one wants, that. no one wants that. No. You know what? Let's do a Look at her. Let's All I know is while Jessica was complaining, I made... 25 grand. grand. You were just counting. You know what? I was counting money. my grand. Wow. Let's do like the telephone game and, and slightly change the rumor. Like, let's say that Barbara Walters slept with Yubi Brooks from the Mets. That would be bad. <laughs> All right, let's take a break. We'll be back right after these words. And we'll be back right after these words. And another 32 grand. grand. <laughs> Uh, listen to these words. I'm sorry. Time contributors like first started here. Now, yeah, other long-time contributors like Isaac, although they're not on staff, but they've certainly been a part of the show for a long time, are Jessica Hahn and Dominic Barbara. Right. And they both took a lot of flack today. Now, Jessica called in because she wanted to give her opinion on the Barbara Walters Oprah uh, inter uh, interview. And after making her point, I think Howard thought, okay, enough, move on. But Jessica clearly didn't think she was done yet, and as a result, got pretty upset. Yeah, I, I feel bad for Jessica because, you know, she just lost her longtime companion. But she also, you know, we were just listening to this old tape. It, when Jessica's in that mood, it's not hard to get her to cry. Now, I spoke to her yesterday, and she was totally upbeat. I spoke to her off the air and like a different person. But, you know, it's 3 o'clock in the morning or 3.30 in the morning out there, and Artie's breaking your balls. I don't know what happened to her today. Yeah, here's a little bit of Jessica talking to Howard, if you
interested. And Howard's trying to figure out what did he do wrong. Do you want us well, to think, so, somehow get no, Barbara? I just wanted to make a freaking point. You made it. Okay. So why yes. are you mad at me? What did I do? But you know what? You know what? I'm just sick of you. <laughs> you can make I'm trying to make a fucking point. You made the point. Don't listen five hours a day. All right, keep going. I, what is she talking about? Are you all right? Don't start crying. Well, 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 why is she mad at me? What did I do? I just said, okay, hey, Jessica, that's a good point. Everything with your fucking show is gone. Next, 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 next. Yeah, next. That's why, the, that's why I get high ratings, because I don't dwell on any one thing. Whatever. God fucking forbid I should spend three fucking minutes outletting, because I have nowhere else to give, put an outlet. You know? <laughs> Why are you laughing at her? Because this is insane. Oh, I don't know why so she's horrible. mad at me. This is funny to me. You're horrible. This is hysterical. Listen to her. I mean, what what do you do? Well, what do you do if you're Jessica, and what do you do if you're Howard? Howard did exactly what he does. He, you know, sort of brought it to the forefront, and you know, let's explore this. Let's not, you know, other people would sweep it under the carpet, say we're going to a break. Howard's like, I need to know everything that you're thinking and feeling right now. For Jessica, listen, I've had days. Where you come in and everything seems like it's going fine, and Howard just sort of hits you the wrong way. I, I know, and it's not him; it's me. Well, there are times you go in and you—I know you've got a point. You want to say something, and Howard immediately—you know—he always keeps the show moving. And when you're the one who, it, it, when it's at your expense, oh, it's brutal. It's brutal. Like Jessica can't even see. You guys see, we all have monitors there. There's, sometimes you go in. Sal and I have talked about this, yeah. and Howard gets a glaze over his eyes that says, "Could you just fucking finish already?" And and that's after the third word. Yep. You got hit with that today. I did. Uh, that, that's always painful, man. Yeah, what are you going to do? David in Ohio, you're on the wrap-up show. Just don't go on the air, Gary. Yeah, uh, I don't want to talk about Jessica Hines. She made a comment today, size zero with double Ds. Has anyone seen her lately? And if so, you know, if the situation was right and everybody was single, who would actually nail it if they could? Has anybody seen Jessica lately? I haven't seen her in ages. We saw pictures of her. I think they were recent. I, yeah. How old did she say she was? I figure she's around she my age. She said 48, I think. Yeah, so she, she was born in 59. Okay. Sal, what do you think? What you... I think you got a better chance of seeing the Loch Ness Monster than seeing Jessica Hahn these days. Why? Because it's been 10 years and she still refuses to send us a picture or anything. She seems like, you know, I don't know. I think, did... I think the wall got the best of her. You did that phone sex thing with her, right? Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Did you enjoy that as much as she did? I sure did. She was phenomenal. And I don't even care if she looks like Madam the Puppet. I'd probably bang her right now. <laughs> Madam the Puppet. Sal, I'm glad you're here. Um, Is she dead? <laughs> <laughs> Waylon Flowers. The puppet died? But, Sal, I'm glad, Waylon Flowers did. I'm glad you're here because... Hey, John, you're on the air. Good morning in Milford, hey, Mass. good morning. Hey, now. How are you this morning? Hey, Jessica fucking on. Slip off into obscurity, honey. Well, wow, wow, listen to me. But I got to say, the funniest thing she said, Howard... We're going to still get to eat my cunt. Was that the fucking... Yeah, when Jessica said, lick my cunt, i got to say, that was really I funny. Was like, that yeah, Artie, you left that out of the song. I know. You left lick my so cunt out. When guys act you, you know, you're like, yeah, fuck you, dude, suck my dick up. And she's like, fuck you, <laughs> eat my cunt. Eat my cunt, eat my cunt. Oh, my God, I fucking laughed. Figure it out, figure it out, figure it out, figure it out. All right, Eat my John home wrecker, Barbara Wolf. Let me get to Lisa G, because i got a lot of stuff to get to today, and I'm going to buzzsaw right through it. Rolling Stones Through and Through is on the Soprano soundtrack. Through and Through. Good way to record. That was back in the day. A lot of old Beatles shit like that, too. Yeah. Lick my cunt. Reed feels cold. I, I hear radio and everything. <laughs> I took all those old radios that Gary bought me, and I made a big display out of them. Oh, nice. They always yeah. look good. It looks cool. Yeah. Is that going to be out at the eight hundred million dollar grand? Yeah. Now? I used to I used to goof on guys with their old radios, and now I'm one of them. I like the old radio. I go, you know what? My history's in radio. Why shouldn't I embrace old radio? Fuck Gary. My history's in radio. Why shouldn't I embrace old radio? Fuck Gary. If Gary can have old radios, I can have them. Fuck Gary. He helped you. Lick my cunt, Gary. <laughs> The best song to get wasted to is Buzzy Linhart's Heaven. I used to go to parties. again. I used to go to parties in high school. I'd be fucking trashed on everything. Why is a particular song the best to get high to? It doesn't every song get better when you're high. This song, no, some songs bum me out. Okay. Happy birthday! When I would do sad. acid, my buddy would put on uh, the Grateful Dead or the Beatles, and I would fucking bum out. But when Buzzy Lynch Messed up. Yes, Jessica. 
Howard, it's kiss my cunt. All right. Sorry. Kiss my cunt. Kiss now my get cunt. it right, Artie. That's like a Broadway right. play. <laughs> kiss me, Kate. Kiss my cunt. Kiss my cunt. <laughs> or KMC. <laughs> kiss my cunt. I got KMC tickets. KMC. Now yeah. that you calm down, I, I, I'm out of an apology. I was agreeing with you. Thank you, Harry. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. And I, I might kiss your cunt. <laughs> <laughs> like that's a really bad thing. Kiss. She goes, "Kiss my cunt." I'm like, yeah, okay. "Okay, yeah, all right, yeah. Yeah, make me, make me pay." You know, when a guy goes, "Suck my dick," it's yeah. disgusting. And he's right. usually saying it to a guy. I like that. Yeah. When some hot chick says, "Kiss my cunt," I'm like, "Oh well, fuck, John, <laughs> drop it. Let's right? go right now." And already, I'm not 80 years old, you little. Oh. Boy. I said you were 60. Oh, I, I was obviously you know what? I'm joking. I'm zero with double D's. Deal with that. You know what? How old are you now? I told you, Howard, and I'm not saying it again. I forget how old she is. She's the good. double nickel, 55. No, oh, she's that not. Is not. Oh, she's younger than me. Age. She's no. younger than me. You know what? I'm 48. Are you 48? Yeah. When did that scandal hit? 87, 88? So 20 years? Yeah, that's right. It happened in 1980. It broke in 80. Seven. Yeah, she doesn't I lie about her age. I don't think I've ever kissed a 48-year-old cunt. <laughs> Howard, you know what? So that the uh, preacher what? was... What, You're making me angry again. You're making me angry again. Why? Oh. I think I like your... I no, mean, he's, I think he's I... thinking about doing it. You know what, Why Jessica? You're not? having a serious disorder. You can't no, even... You're not. You're having a serious disorder. How she, doesn't you? A, she doesn't Robin, understand it. She doesn't understand a thing. You, you don't understand... You. You. you don't understand a thing I'm saying. <laughs> you, you're you're, you're muddled mouth. I go, hey, I don't think I ever kissed a 48-year-old cunt. I'm thinking, I think I might do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm so pleased. That's what I got. I'm not having a disorder. I'm just saying, you know, if I don't agree with you, I'm having a disorder. Robin, you know what I mean. I know what you're saying. But I would thank you. I'm Fuck sorry. everything. According to my math, that preacher was getting you when you were 21? Thank you. Yes, Artie. I was 20 years old. Wow. And I was a virgin. Wow. But nobody ever seems to believe that. Hey, do you have any points about Barbara Walters? <laughs> <laughs> now stop it. <laughs> All, right. All right. Thank you, Jessica. <laughs>